Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be looking at something really, really special. I'm sure by now a lot of you know that I very, very much like the uh, DMG style Game Boy Pockets. And today, we're going to be having a look at a parcel from AliExpress. One of my favorite Let's Refurbs is a Game Boy Pocket, especially a DMG. I've by now probably done about 10 of these videos or 10 of these DMGs rather. Um, so over time I've accrued quite a lot of them. This is one that went horrendously wrong. Um, I was trying the uh, method where you put some, uh, what's it called, the hydrogen peroxide in a stove and you kind of like heat it up with the water. Um, and I definitely didn't put the water on uh, well, for what I thought for too high or too long, but it turns out I was completely wrong, and now, um, yeah. I'm actually going to be giving this away over at my Patreon. I don't know if you saw a couple of uh, videos ago, I posted a comment saying I'm now officially unemployed. Um, I was laid off my last job, so um, I'm going to be giving this away to my Patreons. I've only got four on there at the moment, because I've also got um, the back half to get this. So right now it's a 50-50% chance that you're going to win this, but anyway, enough selling out. Let's go in further into the video. So as you can see, I've got four of these things. Some of them, the screens have been okay, and some of them I've had to replace the polarizer, which means that you kind of get this um, slightly more green effect. Um, there's also a couple of different types. There's two over here, which is the more recent ones with the um, LED indicators. And then there's these two slightly older ones, which had the um, orange sticker on the inside to indicate that it was on. Our friends over at AliExpress have decided it was time to make a gray game with pockets. So I saw these and ordered three of them. So that was probably a bad idea because at the time I did that, I was employed, so I had money to do that. Um, they all come with the plastic lenses, but we're gonna just have a look at one for now. Um, it also came with a sticker for the back, which is quite nice. I'm probably gonna utilize that for um, one of my Game Boy Pockets over here, the official ones that don't have a sticker on the back. And um, yeah, so let's take a look at them. Oh, it's also got the buttons on the inside. We're gonna talk about them in a moment. Um, and there's also the uh, rubber uh, membranes and some tri-wing and Phillips head screwdrivers in order for you to do this yourself. But if you've ever watched any of my Let's Refurbs, you'll know that this really is not a very difficult process. So I'm sure you'll be okay to do it. So here it is, it's finally here. This is it in my hands. From first impressions, I can feel that it's very light, but that's probably because I'm just holding uh, one of these that has some guts on the inside. This, I would say, in fact, if I pull all of these in, I'd say the best example color-wise of one of these is this one. This is probably the one that I own in the um, nicest, brightest condition. So we're gonna compare them to each other from there. So you can immediately see I've got quite a white background on. I've also got some kind of slightly tungsten lighting, um, which I've had to use my camera settings to slightly adjust. So I can assure you that this is, in fact, the DMG color. But you can see here that it's pretty close. It's slightly grayer. Certainly if I didn't have anything else in front of me, uh, you'd be able to notice that um, you know, it, it looks very, very accurate. It's certainly gray um, as compared to my white background. So you can immediately see that the text is a far, far brighter shade of blue. Um, it's also got the power end indicator on there. So if you have that on there, it definitely looks a little bit weirder than when you have um, it with that. Fortunately, there is a website that you can get higher quality ones of these. I think it's called like the Game Boy Shack or something like that. Um, and they sell much more accurate representations of this. Um, so if you wanted to get a higher quality one of those, then go ahead. But I think they're about six pounds on their own. So this entire set is cost the same price as one lens. So you can be the judge as to... Um, yeah, to what you're gonna do. But let's let's uh, go ahead and assemble one. I, unfortunately, I only have um, DMG pockets to uh, try this out on, so I'm gonna take this one apart. Um, but in fact, before we do that, I wanted to try out the um, the battery cover on one of my pockets that doesn't have a battery cover, cover and see how different it looks. Okay, so it's a little bit darker gray, but it's actually not too bad. It's certainly more accurate than any other colors that you can get on the DMG, so that's pretty good. Um, this is huge guys. I, I really cannot express how big this is. You know, they now finally have these maroon colored DMG buttons. Um, I imagine these are going to be on sale soon individually. Uh, this is really early days, but yet they're not, they're not quite migrated onto eBay yet. I can only find them on AliExpress, but 
Yeah, and we've also now got replacement battery covers, and although they're not great, we've got the replacement DMG lenses. So this is this is massive, guys. I'm not sure if you fully appreciate this, the severity and impact this is going to have on the Game Boy modding community, because previously getting one of these was quite expensive, and now you can buy one for five pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and put one together. And just like that, I've gone ahead and put the whole thing together. It's almost indistinguishable which one is the fake and which one's the real. Certainly on camera, that is the case. Um, the biggest giveaway is this lighter um, lens um, text color, which is a real big shame. I feel like they've massively flawed this just because of that. However, it might just be the case that this is an early batch um, and they're gonna get some feedback and they'll eventually change this because it won't cost them a lot or or if or anything and to be honest in order to just change it to the uh, to this color ink um, so I imagine that problem will probably be rectified so that's kind of mitigated um, another slight thing that I definitely noticed and if I just zoom in you'll be able to really really tell here is the difference in the Nintendo logos can you see the, um, the separation between the text and the uh, the oval or the whatever that shape is compared to on the official one uh, that's one thing I noticed you might also be able to tell as well that on the B button there's kind of this um, little splodge in the bottom corner. Uh, that is definitely just my sp specific unit. That's not all of them because on another one I have over here it's not the case. But just be warned, if you're going to buy one of these I would recommend buying two because you might be disappointed with the, uh, the quality of the ink on the text. Another thing that you might be able to tell is the start and select buttons are not the same colour. This is the actual colour of the um, start and select buttons from the DMG and this is the one that it comes with, it's this black colour over here. So they haven't managed to match that yet, but again I think this is probably going to be something that will be rectified further down the line because this colour is only the same colour as the actual DMG's start and select button and they've obviously got the, um, the plastic or the silicone in order to make those moulds um, and replacements so I imagine it's not going to be too difficult for them to do that as well. The buttons are slightly cheaper looking and cheaper feeling and uh, another thing as well is the, the power button is black, not grey. So they're the kind of immediate flaws of it. Um, as I mentioned, the quality definitely doesn't feel as high. Um, this one's kind of a bit more of a, a matte and this is more of a gloss kind of feel to it. That's probably not something that's really going to translate at all through the camera. You're definitely going to have to order one yourself and find out. Now for probably one of the biggest issues. One of the things that you find with things like this is the plastic is extremely cheap and that means that um, in terms of when it comes to screwing it together you can very easily round the um, screws off. Now if I just go ahead and take this screw out you can actually see that this is not fully together. It looks like this is not fully together but there is no way that I can tighten this any, any further because if I just try and do it, it just spins. So if I go ahead and take this out you'll be able to tell straight away the difference in size between the uh, the fake one on over here and the real one over here. So this is also a Phillips head and this is the tri-wing. So what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is put the official tri-wing bit into the fake um, DMG style pocket and just see if that gives us a bit more rigidity um, in order to close the shell. Um, it might re-thread it slightly but that's going to be okay. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And immediately that is now fully tightened up. That won't go anymore um, and I'm satisfied that that's uh, no, no longer um, open. You can also see the gap over here as well. So this whole thing really hasn't closed up properly. Um, however, chances are if you're taking one of these apart, you're going to have all the uh, screws from the official one anyway. So I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend using the official screws. The um, Phillips screws for the motherboard are like these really weird flathead things um, as compared to these. So And this these rounded as well. So if you're going to buy one of these, make sure you've got official Nintendo screws because uh, these suck. 
And the last thing, but it's really not a big deal, is there isn't a uh, sticker for the serial number on the back, but you can definitely get uh, replacements of those really, really easily. I'm also gonna take this opportunity to stick the uh, unofficial sticker on the back of my official Game Boy Pocket, and uh, we'll end the video with that satisfaction that this is now complete. Voila. Oh no! I've got a crease in it. <laughs>